Hey guys, how's it going? Long time no see. I apologize for the lack of videos on the channel. I haven't really had a lot of time to make much content. Um, I got a new job and that's been pretty much taking all my time. Plus, uh, I'm going to be honest, I haven't really had that many interesting projects to film. But this one's pretty cool, so I figured I'd pop the camera on and bring you along for the ride. So this is a Lawn Boy commercial. A very late model. I believe it is a... Let's see. It is a 22243. You can see that right there. 22243, which means it has the Briggs & Stratton 6-horse engine. Which was sort of Lawn Boy's last gasp at um, an old-style mower, but with an engine that sort of met emissions regulations and some other things. And what happened with this one is, so this belonged to a customer of mine, a long-time one, and uh, he's a commercial landscaper. And he actually ran this with no oil in it. And, well, you know what happens when you do that. The engine decided that it didn't want its internals to be internals anymore. And he actually sort of started in on the process of replacing the engine, but got a little bit turned around and confused and ended up deciding it was a little bit outside his wheelhouse. So he sort of dumped all of this on me. So he's got the engine separated from the deck. This is exactly how I got the machine. The engine is off the deck and partially disassembled. You see the carburetor just, you know, sitting up here and stuff like that. And then he went ahead and purchased another engine, which is from a Cub Cadet of some kind. Just another, like, generic Briggs Quantum, leaking oil out of the muffler. I guess it's been sitting around for a while. And so, I guess his plan was to transfer this engine onto this deck. And along the way, I noticed a couple other things when looking at this engine. He obviously tried to get this pulley off here and uh, didn't succeed. It's pretty broken. Um, and also, this uses that weird Lawn Boy tapered shaft for the blade so I guess it'll need a blade adapter I did get a pulley for it um, for the new motor and I did measure the new motor has the same length shaft which is good but um, I figure we'll start picking away at this thing and see if I can get this engine mounted onto this deck now one thing is I'm gonna have to sort of take that engine apart quite a lot because as you can see this engine here doesn't have any kind of fancy covering on it it's designed to just run like this versus that one's got you know the gas tank integrated and the fancy shroud and everything of course the lawn boy has the gallon gas tank on the back and then also it's got this plate underneath that protects the you know bottom of the belt and everything and the fasteners that hold this on are actually broken so I'm gonna have to figure out how to reattach that although that's not overly important I can get the entire mower working before bothering with that but anyway I'm gonna start picking at this and just kinda of bring you along for the ride and uh, let's see what we see stay tuned so here's the new engine new engine and uh, I went ahead and transferred over a couple of things from the old engine like the carburetor and the carburetor mounting bracket are unique to the lawn boy because they've got this funky air filter that sits up top here that allows the chute for the bag to clear the side of the engine um, I also went ahead and transferred this top cover because I couldn't seem to get this trim ring off without breaking it so I just decided to move the whole recoil assembly over Another thing I'm going to do is transfer the muffler and the muffler guard because this one is bent and full of oil. And then I can go ahead and bolt this motor up to the deck and get the uh, drive pulley and the blade adapter on there. And then maybe see if it runs. I don't actually know that this engine works. Um, I believe the guy said it did, but it has also been sitting around for quite a while. So we'll have to see. So I've pretty much got... All the pieces from the old motor transferred onto the new motor. I don't know how well you can see that. And I think we're going to try to get it on the deck. So that kind of go in there like this. Get that brake cable out of the way. And that goes 
Man, that's a really tight fit in there. It goes on there like that. And then, um, gotta find some bolts. It didn't actually come with any bolts to bolt the engine down. So, uh, I'll go rustle some of those up and then try to bolt it together. Alright, I went to the stash and I uh, rustled up some engine mount bolts. So, let's try to get these in here. Enough that I can tilt the mower onto its side anyway. And, uh, tighten them up. Go get a pulley for the self-propelled and this mower the shaft was kind of a funny size usually they're one inch or three quarter inch but this one was seven eighths of an inch and the pulley took forever to get here and man is it a tight fit it, like it just barely goes on there you know so I'm gonna get this guy squared away and uh, I gotta get a key for it too and then try to figure out some kind of blade adapter because the old blade adapter won't fit on this. The old engine had a tapered shaft at the bottom. And also, the new engine didn't come with a blade adapter. So, I have no idea if I can rustle something up. But uh, I'm going to do my best. I just went and had a rummage around. And I found this blade adapter here. And I have no idea what mower this is off of. I mean, definitely something with a Briggs & Stratton. But it was the only one that I had that was a 7 8 inch shaft. And I was afraid it was going to be too long because, I mean, this looks like a pretty hefty length. But actually, here's a random blade that fits it. That looks pretty good. That, I don't know if you can see that. But that, that's a pretty decent um, depth on there. This side's a little higher. That's because the blade is bent. <laughs> but I'll get a good blade on there. I just grabbed this one out of the, uh, the scrap blades pile. But I don't know what mower this came off of. I think it might have come off of an MTD. That looks like an MTD blade adapter. But And I got a key for the pulley in here. So let me go try to find a good blade that's not so bent and throw that on there. And then maybe we're ready to put some fluids in this thing and, uh, and see if we can get it going. The reason I'm putting so much work into this machine is, I don't know if you can see or not, but this deck is actually in very good condition. It's mostly got paint on the bottom of it still. Uh, it doesn't have any holes blown in it. It's not super worn out. Um, it's getting a little thin right here, like a lot of these lawn boys do. But um, it's really not too bad. Um, this isn't all dented up and, and broken and stuff like that. So it was definitely worth repowering as a mower. The only thing it really needs is uh, some new front wheels. These, these front wheels are getting pretty worn out. But I actually replaced the back wheels for them probably about two years ago. These are uh, Toro Recycler wheels because they're a third of the price of Lawn Boy steel wheels. All right, I'm going to go try to find a, a good blade, and let's maybe see if it'll start. So I went out and got a blade, and I was all set to put it on when I realized I had forgot to put this cover plate on. And now the trouble with that is this cover plate is supposed to go on there with these three studs and what those studs do is they have those push fit sort of snap ring things but I don't have any of those the previous owner lost all of them so I'm trying to figure out how best to secure this cover onto the bottom of the mower I was thinking I could drill holes in here and then put a couple washers on there with a screw. That might work. Or I could also maybe make a bracket that came off of this bolt on either side, kind of a bent piece of metal. But I think I'm gonna try to drill out two of these holes, like drill little holes in the center of two of these, and uh, put screws and washers in there. It's just aluminum, so it should drill pretty easily. And see if I can just layer up a couple of washers on there. You know, something kind of like this, get a, uh, a washer, put that like that, and then put a nut, or a, I mean a bolt in there to hold that on. So let me see if I can do that. If not, I don't know. I don't know how bad it is to just emit that cover 
it may fill the belt area of the mower, you know, back in here. Might fill it up with grass. So I think it's probably beneficial to have that in place. Maybe something like that. All right, so I think all I've got left to do here is go ahead and connect up this fuel line. I already connected up the brake cable, but I just forgot to film that. So I got two screws in there holding that plate on. That seems like a pretty decent connection. So it's actually it's still got some gas in it from when it was dropped off, so that should be good. The only other thing I need to do is uh, get a discharge plate on it because I do not want that thing to fling little rocks and other things into my eyes. So let me go rustle up a... Why do we keep saying rustle up? Let me go track down a, um, a mulch plate or something and uh, then we'll try to get it started, I think. All right, I've got gas, I've got oil, I've got a disassembled Subaru car interior in the background and... Uh, I'm going to see if it starts. I hope it does. I have no idea if this engine is any good. So, prime it up a couple of times here. Make sure the plug wire is attached. Alright, here goes. Well, I would call that a success. What do you think? Not bad for two and a half hours, and uh, I think the blade was like 20 bucks to get this mower up and running again. These Lawn Boy commercial mowers, they retail for a decent buck, even used. This one's probably worth, in my area, at least 500 bucks, which I don't really understand. There are, in my opinion, better commercial mowers out there, but landscapers really like the old Lawn Boy. I can't say I blame them. But anyway... Thanks for coming along with this quick little video while I had a free minute and uh, chatting with me while I put this lawnmower back together. Alright, until next time everyone, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.